Hello and welcome to Darren check out Dwarf Corp. This is a base builder game very highly inspired by Dwarf Fortress. It is a big game where we be a we will be a band of dwarves digging into the mountain, digging out jewels and and crafting rings and and fighting off skeletons and and that sort of a thing. Uh, this game has a unique history, an interesting history. It was originally developed back in 2012 and then in 2013 had a successful Kickstarter. Well, then the development sort of tapered off and went very slow in the uh, in the following years. But now we finally have a Steam Early Access release where there's been a big update that has supposedly brought the game back to life. Uh, I was actually looking at this game a few months ago and planning on doing it on the channel because it is a, well, Dwarf Fortress sort of thing, and I thought it might be interesting to try it out. Uh, well, the game was kind of broken back then. It was, it was not really playable. It was uh, just very, very buggy, and uh, I just couldn't do it for a video, but I saw that they were doing an update and plan for this release, so I'm looking forward to trying this thing out and seeing how it goes. I've played a little bit of it. It's still buggy, and it's still a bit broken, but it's potentially there. It's just been a little while. It reminds me of something like Stonehearth, I guess. Very, very long development game, but could potentially be something rather interesting. Let's try it out and stop yammering. This is Dwarf Corp. We have two different options. We have a new game, which just throws us into the game, throws us onto the mountain with our five dwarves, and we start digging in and start uh, setting up shop. Or we can go to the advanced game, which is what we're going to do. This one allows us to create the name of our folks and give ourselves a banner and create the biome, create the world, and select where we're going to be embarking uh, in the world. So we've got South Continent Corp. We can change that around. Purple Low, Blue Cream, Pink Urchin Limited. Sounds good to me. And we can change our motto, Rules or Death. Yes, that sounds very, very nice. We can change the look of our logo if we want, something like, sure, circles are cool. Uh, we can go with the um, the mushroom and uh, pink urchin. we got to go with a pink mushroom, I suppose. Something like that. Yeah, there we go. Uh, can I change my background? What's the brown? Oh, I see, I see. I see what's going on here. We can change this one to, like, one of these. And then we can have a, um, like, a, uh, a purple background. Yes, pink urchin limited. Rules or death? Let's create our world. Now, we're going to go ahead and generate our world here. Very, um, I guess, room world or dwarf fortress like, maybe stone hearth like, where we're going to have a big landmass here. We can change things around if we want. We can go to advanced options and change all kinds of stuff. We can add in more natives if we want, more people. There's like, there's some folks we'll show off here living around, um, around the land. We can see they're like goblins. There's some elf folks around here. We've got some sort of human camp. Um, we've got, there's some more elf dudes. Where's the undead? I don't see them. There they are, over here. So they're all living around in the world. We're going to pick where we want to begin our, our society, our, our fortress here. We can also see, we can view different biomes that are in the world. We can see all the different, how much it rains, I guess. The erosion, there's faults as well. I'm not sure how that was going to play out in the game. Uh, again, this is early access, so there's, there's a lot that's not quite here yet. But I think we want to go with something, I kind of want to check out the water. That might be kind of interesting. What if we do something like, um, maybe something over here? I want to make sure we pick up a smaller one. Makes it load nice and quick. Uh, like maybe like, uh, can you do that one or let's go. Uh, yeah, this is fine. This is fine over here. There's a nice, a nice mountain sort of thing here. We got trees around. I like this. Let's do this one. Let's start it up. Pink Urchin is our names. Welcome to our, um, our soon to be fortress. So this is the land. It has a very unique sort of uh, art style, which I kind of like. It's got this sort of 3D thing, and we got these 2D sprites down here. Uh, very interesting. But uh, yeah, here's our mountain we just have claimed. We got this dude in the uh, in the balloon as like our outpost liaison. You can see the waters right here. We've got our mountain coming up. We got all these trees that we can harvest, uh, and the mountain. In the mountain, we can see things like coal, and, and there's some jewels in there. We got some diamonds in there, um, I believe. And uh, different things around. I don't see any animals hanging out at the moment. There's some mushrooms down there. This is actually a pretty tiny map. Tiny map. There's a rabbit right up there. Got some snow going on up top here. So let's go ahead and get some things done. We can see our dwarves. This is our stockpile to begin with. And we can take a look at our dwarves. We've got, for instance, we've got Not Gravebreaker. He is a level zero miner. He is a brave male dwarf who loves to daydream absurdly. And he's happy about arriving in this new land. We also have Vral Foebreaker. Edgy and lawful, and she likes to play musical trips. That's right, she has a nice beard. We also have Rhett Pick Crusher, our miner, who, uh, favorite thing is to carve gold yokes. He is worldly. And, uh, Hanno 
witch tracker is my uh, axe dwarf going to study tomatoes. She is ungainly. I don't know what that means, but tomatoes are great. Uh, and uh, Lurk. Lurk is our craft dwarf. He, she, she is a smelly female dwarf who loves to tame and wreck. Don't we all? Uh, so here's our map. We can see our tiny map over here. And we can pull up stuff about our dwarves here. We use our, all of our dwarves here. We can see all this same stuff we saw before. Go away, tutorial. I know what's going on. Um, we have goals that will pop up in time, sort of move the game along, I suppose. Uh, we can bring in new dwarves if we want. If we want to hire somebody else, we can do that. We can spend some money and bring the guy in and uh, and s maybe um, uh, upgrade our civilization. There's wizards in here. There's magic. I have not tried yet, so I'm kind of eager to try that one out. Anyway, enough yammering. Let's dig. So we're going to go ahead and cut the, cut the, uh, the ground away to this level so we can get some digging done here. We've got something here we want to go ahead and dig into, so let's go ahead, mark the dig tool, and start digging. Something like that, and dig all the way back, and maybe do something like, uh, we get a bit of a stockpile room going on, look over here. Something like that. And maybe put in another room over on this side. Like that. I don't want to go too far, because I think this is ground right there. So we don't want to go too far over that way, but maybe something like, something like over here would be fine. Like that, we can keep on moving this one back and do some more digging over here. This is a much smaller world. <laughs> I, I, had, I played medium before when I did a test game. I didn't do a small one, and uh, it's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. But we'll do a couple more rooms. Uh, that's probably good enough for now. Actually, we can probably get rid of this for now. Just We'll just work on this, and we'll have a couple rooms. We'll have like a crafty room, and we'll have a, a bedroom. And oh, we need a stock power room too. Uh, well, we'll do this for now. So my miners will go ahead and get to work mining some things. We have our, uh, our stockpiles are up here. That is iron that they're digging out of the mountain right now. And you can see we've got beer, we've got rocks, we've got dirt, we've got mushrooms, and we have wood. Uh, we also want to make sure we get these, these trees chopped down. Hello, bunny. So let's get some trees done here. Chop some wood. So let's go ahead and get all this stuff chopped, please. They're going to haul this stuff and put it into the stockpile land right there. And uh, they'll get to work doing all that. They've got this dug out. they got a little bit more to get to, but I put them on the tree, so I guess they're going to do that instead. We can select our dwarves here. We can grab all of them if we want. We can move them around individually if we want to manually control these guys. Why aren't you working? Can I can I select your jobs? I haven't actually messed with this yet. Can I tell you to do certain jobs? I can fire you. You're a craft dwarf. You're not going to work yet because there's nothing to craft. I haven't crafted. I haven't made anything for you to do yet. But you will be very important here pretty soon. So I'll let you. I'll let you stay. I guess. So let's go ahead and the trees are almost done. We've got plenty of uh, of apples now. We have, we have 26 of them being hauled, or being carried by somebody, and we have, uh, what is that, zero? Is that a zero or eight uh, are in the stockpile? And there they go, they're getting thrown into the crates, and uh, now we have some more digging going on over here. We got a deer, a deer right there. Can we kill the deer? I don't think we have a hunter right now, so we can't hunt the deer, but we can just look at the deer. We can think about hunting the deer. You can see our, our banners here on the flags, the pink urchin clan. Digging away over here. We'll turn this one into a... Uh, we can probably put bedrooms over on this side. So let's get some building done. Let's go into build mode. Put down some objects. We're going to put down some beds over here. And we want to craft. It's going to cost us four wood to make these beds. But we've got plenty of wood up here. We're going to throw these things in. Um, there. There. And um, there and there. We need one more, don't we? Um, that'll, that'll work right there. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. <laughs> okay, good job. So he's gonna go hammer out, this is my craft dwarf, going and building some, some beds. He doesn't actually need a, a station to make the beds, he just needs wood, and he'll go over and make it. We will need things like a cook stove, though, to make meals, or a, uh, a forge in order to make metal things. But that's, uh, that's some digging going on there. We can, we can actually work on getting this dug out as well, which we will do. Get us a bit more iron in here. Just throwing all this stuff in. There's a turkey walking by over here. And uh, we're probably going to need to get this coal taken out too. Actually, I may go ahead and tell them to mine some of that. Anything else up top here that we need to uh, pick up? I don't think so. It's just squirrels and bunnies though. There's our gold. We just leave our gold laying outside. You know, we're very trusting dwarves. We'll get that stuff moved inside as well. So we'll have this done. And as soon as we get done with that, we'll make another stockpile room, I guess, back here. And uh, we'll put some... Uh, some crafty things in here. So let's make ourselves... Let's make... We can't cook food yet. We need to build 
an object, we're gonna make a forge. Craft an anvil, first off. Anvil's gonna be made out of iron, which we have a bit. We're gonna throw it right there. And then we're gonna put in a cook stove. Kitchen table, actually. Which is gonna go right there. Next to that, we're gonna put in a stove, which we need fuel for that, which we, we saw some coal out there. We can't do that one just yet. Um, but we can do... Um, a barrel is used to brew some ale. We need apples for that, and some wood. Yes, we'll do that. We'll put that right there next to this one. There we go. Ale is always important. And, uh, I think that's probably a good start for now. We can also do potions books, and, uh, and bookshelves, and straw man, which I'm not entirely sure what that does. As soon as we get some grain, we can make that train by hitting the straw man. Oh, there we go. I guess we could just read tooltips, couldn't I? If we need to, we can make ladders as well if we want to go easier way on, on waking our way up the stairs. Right now we have one craft dwarf. He's only doing he's the only one doing anything because he's the only craft dwarf. Everyone else is standing around doing absolutely nothing, which is unacceptable. Let's get some digging done. Some, probably some tree chopping. We'll make sure we get that taken out. We'll get those apples so we can start getting some, uh, some brew made, I suppose. Uh, I want to make sure we get some coal here as well get this stuff mined away. Just a few blocks of it. That'll get us started, and maybe we can get ourselves a cook stove going here. And uh, this is all done, too, so I'm going to go ahead and work on getting this dug out. Maybe something like... That'll probably be sufficient for a stockpile. And then we can do another stockpile of just cash. Like our money, our money room is going to be back here. Like that. Yeah, that'll work. We also have options for doing things like farming. Obviously, we're going to have to do some farming. There's no dirt in here, so we can't do any farming inside here. We can do some outside farming, though. And we can do that for now. We'll, we can figure out how to get some dirt in here and lay some uh, get some mushrooms started up. But for now, um, let me see here. Can I get... You know what we could probably do? We could probably just dig this out and flatten this area. Maybe that'll give us some dirt. And we can get our farm right there. That might be a little bit easier. We'll see how it goes. So we have beds now, so we can sleep in the beds. There is a day-night cycle. They will come and they will snooze in there in time. Um, he's going to get to work on that. We can tell him to get to work by going into... Not there, but into build. And this one. We can tell him to craft some trinkets as soon as he gets that thing crafted up. And get some things that we can sell. There is a economy... The economy is strange. It's, it's unique to where our dwarves require money. You can see Vral here requires $25 a day to to be here to work. And so at the end of every day, I will pay these dwarves out. So we have to make sure that we are crafting things and selling them off to our trader who will come wandering in here in time. I really wish I'd pick a bigger world because this is kind of tiny. Um, this is much smaller than the medium-sized world. Uh, it's, it'll do, though. It'll do. But um, here's our axe dwarf standing guard. Good job, buddy. Right, and we got the uh, the kitchen tables now being crafted. As soon as I get done, we can start telling him to make us some food. We can bring another craft dwarf in here if we want to, which we probably will once these are done, because we'll have to have he or she, whoever it is, will be working on rings or something, and then someone else will have to come in here and make some food, make some brew, of course. Let's get to work making a stockpile room right here. So there we go. This will be stockpile land over this way. We will also have... We have the balloon port outside. We can also make a graveyard. Animal pen for animals that we can we can get. Let me throw that. I'm not sure how to use this one, actually. We'll put this one over here. Like that. Did that work? Too small. It needs to be three by three. Not enough resources. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, we also have treasury where we keep our cash. And that is going to go back here. Too small. Maybe three by three. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let me dig. Dig out one more row here. I think that's safe to do. And we'll get our treasury back there. So he's busy working on the stockpile, which we will haul this stuff back in here eventually. And uh, Mr. Craftman, he's in there working. He'll get to work on this in a minute. 20 gold awarded for building a stockpile. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate that. Can I, um, I could probably remove this one. We'll do that in time. Nothing urgent about it just yet. We just dug to the outside. No, we didn't. Okay. I thought we dug to the outside for a minute. But I think we're good. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Okay, so let's turn this into a treasury. Back here, which was back in the build. Not that one. That one. And in the the zone. 
zone of treasury. Right there. Right, we'll stick our cash back there, rather than just having it laying outside, which is kind of strange. Alright, so now that our cook stove is made, we can make some food. So let's go in here, cook some food. We're going to cook ourselves some meals. We can use, really don't have much to use. We do have a few mushrooms brought, we brought with us. We have eight mushrooms, and we have 36 apples. So we're going to craft, we'll just do five of those meals. Get that started up. You can see there's there's breads, and there is ale as well, which we'll get ale soon. And then we go treasury, we'll go back there. Excellent. All right. Get out of here, dear. Uh, this is not dirt. This is more iron, which is actually not too bad. I'm okay with that. Actually, let's go ahead and mine that, I suppose. There we go. Well, there we go. That one. And we'll go ahead and get these also. Maybe we can go one down and maybe that'll be all dirt. Probably not. We probably should get some food started up here. Um, where are we going to put our food? We can put it right here. Just for now, we'll get some farming. we got to get some sort of farming going on. So let's till the land here. Something like right there. We'll till all that. We'll put some trees in. We'll get some, um, I don't know. We'll get, last time I had coconut trees. We'll see if it's the same. This is a different biome. So we'll have to see. Uh, can I tell you to gather? Or I tell you to harvest these. Harvest these mushrooms. Oh, I could use some mushrooms. Come here, just harvest these. Yeah, harvest those things too. Probably shouldn't chop down all the apple trees. Now we do have, my dwarves have a uh, have feelings. You can see old uh, Lurk here is enjoying his time being in the beds. He's very happy. He's a bit tired because, well, he's been working all day. As soon as he gets up, he'll go for a bite to eat. But now everyone is in bed. It's nighttime. Everyone's sleeping. Let's go ahead and skip to daytime. Paid our employees $125 a day. So yeah, there we go. That's the uh, that's the cash we've just spent on our employees, making them happier. We have a message down here. This is telling me that we completed a goal. We built a stockpile. There we go. Excellent. Things will pop up here in a bit. Let me go ahead and hire a new guy. Let's go ahead and get a craft dwarf in here. Cost 25 bucks a day. There's a $100 signing bonus. His last job was a bodyguard. A boy toy. A boy toy bodyguard? <laughs> uh... It's a funny, uh, she is a funny female dwarf who loves to drink with amok dwarves. You, you do, do see this request to be a craft apprentice. I'm a very hard worker. Okay, you're hired. Gave her a hundred bucks. Now she's going to come in here and work. Now we're a bit poor, but we'll be better as soon as we get our traders in here. They should be here pretty soon. All right, there she is. Getting to work on the cooking uh, already. Uh, no, she's working on that. She's getting our, our stove. Or our, um, our brewery up and running. And now it's up and running, so let's go ahead and get some ale started up. We're going to take some apples. We will do it ten times. We can do mushroom ale also. Let's do the apples. we got plenty of those. We'll make tw ten of those. That'll make people very happy as well. They'll get up, they'll get some eating done, and, uh, and be good to go. There is our farm, which is started. Not quite completed yet, but we can go ahead and plant some apple trees. Oh, pine cones. Okay. I'll put some pine trees over here, and I'll put some apple trees over here. Yeah. Uh, um, the mushrooms have to be grown below ground, obviously. Which would be somewhere... I, this is all stone, so I can't put it in here. But uh, if we find a nice dirt spot... I think what I can do... I haven't tried this yet, but I believe... I believe... Floor. Can I do... Place dirt. So now, does that, like, fill it, or does that... Let's see. It just turns it into the dirt, doesn't it? We should just do that. Then. So let's go and uh, let's go do some digging here. Let's make a, a nice planter room back here. Maybe not there. This is going to have to grow to incorporate all our doors. We can always go down. Why don't we just go down? The storm is coming. Let's dig down somewhere. We can go over the dirt block and then we'll go down a level. And work our way onto a, a lower level, onto a lower Z level. We can also go up if we wanted to, I suppose. But I think that will work. And, um, yeah, I think we got a nice start here. We got some trees coming in. We'll have some mushrooms going as well. These guys are hard at work making us some brew. Trade Envoy has arrived. There we go. All right, here comes the filthy, click, filthy click, elves click, coming click, 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 click. to chat with us. Well, fiddly dee, I am Fifi Gumdrop. Of open slinnin. What's your opinion of us? Indifferent, because we just met. Uh, what is something that you have many of? Many wooden things, of course you do. Filthy elf. What do you have few of? Few gems. 
What do you hate? We hate prepared foods. We like gourds. Uh, uh not gourds. Declare war! Um, okay, let's trade. And then we're going to, um, I can give them some pine cones. You can see what they're going to offer for things. Coal's worth 15 bucks. Ale's also worth 15. 62 bucks for iron. I'll give you a couple pieces of iron. I'll give you, like, four iron. And I'm going to give you a bunch of wood, you filthy elves. And we can buy things from them as well. You can see down there in the bottom left corner, it's showing their profit versus my profit. Uh, we'll put it up to, I don't know, something like 400 or something. We can see maybe we can buy some things. Maybe we can go, we can buy some pumpkins. We can buy some grain. We do want to plant some grain. I wonder if I buy it from them, if I can grow it. They have all these wooden things, of course. Um, let's go ahead and buy some grain. I want to buy, I don't know, give me like five grain. That'll work. I'll take a couple coconuts too. Okay, two coconuts. A seed of evil. Grows haunted tree. Yes, I want seeds of evil too. And cactus? Sure, give me that. Okay. Now, um, I also want you to give me some things. I want you to give me 350 bucks too. 340 bucks. 330 bucks. What? How much do you need? Oh, oh it was just red because I was cursed over it. <laughs> uh, 300. Not gonna work. 250 will. Uh, they're making 122 bucks. That's not, that's too much. We'll do 275. Propose that. I think we can just do... This works fine. Yeah, I'm sure it does. Okay, well, we'll do that trade. We're going to give them a little bit of iron, a little bit, of, a lot of wood, and we're going to take some seeds from them. Propose that trade. Should be more considerate. This is offensive. Declare war. Yes. You're not so cute to us anymore. <laughs> get out of here. Elves, they enter our territory. Now, go get them. Yeah, go get them. Go chase them down, Axe Dwarf. What are you doing? Don't let them get away. All right. Well, he got away. Feels good, though. There's, uh, maybe less elves would come in here and visit us. Uh, okay, so there we go. We're in good shape. I did buy some things. Let's see if we can plant this stuff. Before we call it a day here, I want to see... What is this guy doing? He coming to shoot us? What? <laughs> no, he's not. Oh, no, he's not. Well, that's satisfying. Okay. Okay. Um, let's get some planting done real quick. I want to see... Some things get planted. We have... Let's plant. I don't have anything new, though. What about all the seeds I just picked up? I guess they aren't seeds. They are... Maybe we didn't get them because we declared war, and so the trade didn't go through yet. That must have been what happened, because we we don't have any of the new stuff. So, bummer. I was really hoping to uh, plant some evil trees. Anyway, this is Dwarf Corp. Thanks again for watching. It's available on Steam and is in early access. It is, it is very buggy still. I, I'm surprised I didn't have any crashes uh, with this little 20 minute thing. I had a few. I had two or three when I was just doing my test games, and just uh, well not crashes, just just strange buggy things that happened that made me restart the game. Um, anyway, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.